This is a 2018 Can-Am X3 DS. Wanted to show uh, you guys uh, some of the exhaust mods that I've done. The let me turn the light on. The stock exhaust is uh, I don't want to say fairly restrictive, but it, it it's pretty quiet, and I believe it creates a fair amount of back pressure and. One, I don't particularly like that on a turbo system. I like it to have more flow. And two, you definitely lose power with the back pressure. So what I've done is I bought the cat delete pipe from Evolution Power Sports. This one has a canister in it that has like a, it's almost like a, a waffle piece of metal in it. And what that does is it breaks down, it interrupts that shock wave. So you get a little bit less of an, uh, a bark out of it if it was a straight exhaust. So I went that route. Then the other thing I did is I put the Yoshimir, the one that, I guess that's how you say it, the one that you can buy that's specifically made for Can-Am. I wrapped this curved pipe right here just because of how close the proximity to a few odds and ends are. Uh, probably not required, but I just did it to keep the heat down. The other thing, the stock exhaust has the stock, the upgraded Yo, Yoshimir one, you have the carbon fiber cap, and then there's three exhaust ports. It's one tube that I believe is right at two and a half inches round. Then it comes to these three out ones. There's one here, one here, and one here. You can see them online, take a picture. And they're two and a quarter inch. So you have tremendous volume on the outside with the three uh, exhaust you know the that try looking thing because it's only a two and a half inch that feeds it so when i first did that i was getting quite a bit of the base note uh, back into the cab and it was it was too aggressive with the helmet couldn't hear the headsets that clean it was giving us a headache part of it is because it's reverbing off the uh rear bumper so what i did you can't you can kind of see inside there but i bought a two and a quarter to a two inch adapter so it change the di inner diameter of the tubing down to two inches from two and a quarter. And what that did is that increased the, the velocity of the exhaust, which changes the frequency, which makes it a higher pitch. Um, the higher the pitch, the more directional it is. That's why subwoofers, you can put them anywhere in your house. It doesn't matter where they're at. I mean, within reason, you really can't tell where the sound's coming from. Mentally, you know, but typically you can't isolate it. So I wanted to shift the frequency a little bit higher and make it more directional versus the bass note, which is omnidirectional. I did that, significant improvement. However, uh, still wasn't taking enough bark out of the exhaust. Sounded good, but still for longer rides, just listening to that monotone RPM when you're not really attacking, this got old after a while. So I went ahead and bought these 90 degree turndown tips. I cut them off at an angle so the sound isn't going straight down to the ground, it's kind of tipped back. And then on the pieces that are coming out, I cut a sawtooth design in the end of it. If you think of the end here being cut like a sawtooth all the way around and then drilled holes in them throughout. And what that does is as that shock wave comes through, part of that shock wave is dissipated in the holes and the rest of it is, is broken down in intervals by the sawtooth. So when it comes out of the end of that inner pipe, you can see it in there. When it comes out of that end of the inner pipe, you don't have that full shock wave. It's, it's got multitude of, of mini ones, if you want to think of it that way. So it takes the, the punch out of the sound. It takes the bite out of it. Um, did that with all three. It, it has worked fantastic. I still need to do a little bit more uh, testing on it. The one thing I did notice, um, these two tubes have colored due to temp. This third one um, mildly, so which I predicted. The amount of back pressure that this generates pretty much is uh, negligible to it doesn't really matter because there's no heat coming in this one. So the, if there was back pressure in here, we'd have the same amount of heat coming out of this third one. So there's enough airflow between the three where just two of them handle the vast majority of it. The third just, you know, it carries part of it. Part of the reason why these two is if you look at the, the Yoshi exhaust underneath here, it does a 90 degree and comes this way. So all that air is already being pushed to the passenger side upon exit. So, um, I guess I'll go ahead and do a quick start of it so you can kind of hear what it sounds. So let me go ahead and uh, pause this video and then uh, insert a new one. One thing I forgot to mention about the exhaust is the factory heat shield right here. 
uh, runs around for this 90 degree bend and I noticed um, after the first couple of rides of taking this out that this shock area mainly the springs and the shock body was picking up a lot of the radiated heat off the exhaust um, it was to the point where it was almost too hot to touch and it wasn't from the suspension being utilized because the driver's side didn't have any of that type of heat so what I've done is I've built a heat shield sorry the lighting's not the best you can see a little bit better there it's just a uh, aluminum and then I've used a exhaust wrap so it doesn't radiate it through the wrap and used a high temp RTV to seal it where I wrapped it around used two uh, screws to tie it into the stock heat shield and then kind of run it um, perpendicular to the shock I'm sorry parallel with the shock uh, a little ways in uh, about 120 miles on this works really well so anyway you guys might want to consider that because I think it's too much heat on the shock so I'm going to start the X3 I'm in the garage uh, exhaust is facing out but I'm in a neighborhood so it's going to reverb a little bit but you guys can kind of hear it with this the drive with this and see what it is so if you guys got any questions uh, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll try and answer them have a good one guys